What is chloridization? Chloridization is a geological process that occurs when rocks are altered by the addition or replacement of chlorite minerals. Chlorite is a green, iron-magnesium-aluminum phyllosilicate mineral that is commonly found in rocks that have undergone low-grade metamorphism, hydrothermal alteration, or weathering. During chloridization, existing minerals in a rock, such as micas, amphiboles, or pyroxenes, react with fluids that contain iron, magnesium, and other elements. These fluids can come from a variety of sources, including hydrothermal fluids, groundwater, or metamorphic fluids. The reaction between the fluids and the minerals results in the formation of chlorite minerals. Chloridization can occur in a variety of rock types, including shales, sandstones, and volcanic rocks. The process can be accompanied by other mineral alterations, such as the formation of sericite, epidote, and quartz. Chloridization can also affect the physical properties of the rock, such as its color, texture, and hardness. Chloridization has important implications for the study of geology and the interpretation of geological processes. The presence of chloride minerals in a rock can provide information about the temperature, pressure, and fluid composition of the environment in which the rock formed or was altered. Chlorite can also act as a cementing agent, binding together loose sediment particles and creating a more resistant rock. In summary, chloridization is a geological process that involves the addition or replacement of chloride minerals in rocks, resulting in changes to the rock's physical and chemical properties. Chloridization can occur in a variety of rock types and has important implications for the study of geology. How does chloridization occur? Chloridization is a process that can occur through a variety of mechanisms. It typically occurs in rocks that have undergone low-grade metamorphism, hydrothermal alteration, or weathering. The process involves the addition or replacement of chloride minerals in a rock, which can alter its physical and chemical properties. Chloridization can occur through a variety of chemical reactions, depending on the composition of the rock and the nature of the fluids involved. In general, the process involves the dissolution of existing minerals in the rock, followed by the precipitation of chloride minerals from fluid solutions. One common mechanism for chloridization is the hydrothermal alteration of rocks. Hydrothermal fluids, which are heated water solutions that circulate through the Earth's crust, can alter rocks by dissolving minerals and depositing new ones. Hydrothermal fluids that contain iron, magnesium, and other elements can react with existing minerals in a rock, causing them to break down and form chloride minerals. Another mechanism for chloridization is the low-grade metamorphism of rocks. When rocks are subjected to low levels of heat and pressure, they can undergo changes in mineralogy and texture. During this process, minerals in the rock can react with fluids that contain iron, magnesium, and other elements, resulting in the formation of chlorite minerals. Chloridization can also occur through weathering processes. When rocks are exposed to the elements, they can undergo chemical and physical changes. Water, wind, and other environmental factors can cause existing minerals in the rock to break down and form new ones, including chlorite minerals. In summary, chloridization can occur through a variety of mechanisms, including hydrothermal alteration, low-grade metamorphism, and weathering. The process involves the addition or replacement of chlorite minerals in a rock, which can alter its physical and chemical properties. The specific mechanism for chloridization depends on the composition of the rock and the nature of the fluids involved. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.